Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we have a Mastercam video. We're using Mastercam 2020, and we're going to show off the dynamic toolpath. So let's get started. Okay. Here's our Mastercam 2020. We'll create a wireframe part and some wireframe stock, then we'll add a dynamic toolpath. So we're going to anchor to the center, drag it out, we'll go 6 inches, no we'll go 7 by 3 inches, hit the OK button, this is the start of our part, now we'll make it a little more interesting, we'll wireframe some circles on the corners, We'll hit the check mark. Now we're going to break up that wireframe, delete the lines we don't need, then add some radiuses. So we'll use the break two pieces tool and we'll break those circles up. Hit exit and then we can select those pieces and delete them. Next we want to break up some of those lines of the rectangle. hit exit and then delete some of those lines there we go now this is just a 2d version of our part we'll have another video on how to do dynamic milling on a 3d part but just using wireframe sometimes is a lot easier than trying to mess with um, a 3d part you know it's all up to preference so this will be a two-part video. Next, we're going to add some radiuses between the circles and the rectangle. I think we'll go just realigned all of my buttons. So my button's actually on the right. There we go. And we'll go quarter inch, that works. Hit OK. We'll do it for the other circle. Looking good. So there's our part, pretty simple. Next we want to go to levels. We'll name this first level part. Just keep it simple. And then we'll type in number two. Hit enter. That creates another level. And on this next level, we can make it stock. So we're going to wire up, frame up some stock. We're going to pretend our piece of aluminum is we'll go 11 inches by 7 inches. There we go. So now we have one level that's a part, one level that's a stock. Okay, so there's a part, there's our stock. We're ready to dynamic mill. Now you want to draw the stock so you know where to start with your tool. If you don't know where the stock is, your tool may plunge into your part at 200 inches a minute and snap it right off. So this is important that you draw your stock to size. So we go to dynamic milling. We chain the stock, we go to avoidance regions, and we chain the part. Both climb cutting direction. We check that. We go to tool, and we'll just use a half inch end mill. So this is our default Mastercam library for 2020. We'll just choose a half inch end mill, make it tool one. Spindle speed, we'll go 7500. Read rate 100, plunge 100, cut parameters. Our step over, we're going to change from 1 eighth of an inch to 50 thou. Then back feed rate, we're going to change to 300. That's the feed rate when it rapids around to make another cut in its tricotal motions. Depth, we'll go half inch. Coolant, turn that on. 
We'll hit the checkoff. So these dynamic toolpaths can take a while to regenerate, so if you see that it's not regenerated, just give it a second while it loads. So that toolpath is wrong because it looks like it's almost making a pocket. So we go back into geometry and we go to from outside. We had stay inside selected and we want the toolpath to start on the outside of the stock. That looks a lot better. So we'll hit back plot. We'll check this out. So there's a tool, 100 inches a minute, flying around 50 thou cuts. Eleven minute cycle time, not bad. Back plot looks good. Next we'll go to verify and we'll look at a 3D model so we can get a better look at what's going on. Okay, we're gonna tilt our model. That looks good. We'll hit play. And there goes our tool, 100 inches a minute, 50 thou cuts. We'll slow it down a bit, and we'll watch what's going on here. See right there, your tool will actually be retracting around at 300 inches a minute like we changed. So it goes 100 inches a minute, retracts to the starting position, and it goes 100 inches a minute again. You can change that um, um, retract to 500 inches a minute or you know a thousand inches a minute, whatever you're comfortable with. It can save a lot of time. So that looks great. Um, that is our video for today. Uh, we'll be also uploading a 3D model and showing how to do dynamic milling on the 3D model and we'll be doing a lot more Mastercam videos so be on the lookout. Thanks!